Okay, we're gonna make a door in on shape. So, um, there it is. That's the door. Open up your document separately, or do it on your phone. I'm gonna start by naming a door, and I'll use today's date. Okay, so I'm going to begin with the front of the door. It's a giant rectangle. Let's stick with that. Using the sketch tool, I'm going to click the front plane. Now, I'm going to draw from origin a rectangle. Now I click. There we go. And it's now letting me adjust height and width. So the height of this door is 80 inches. Yep. I press enter. Width of the door is 36 inches. I press enter. And now I'm going to zoom out so I can see everything. Alternatively, you could right click and go to zoom to fit. Nice and preset up. All right, so this is all fine and good, but now I've got these squares, these rectangles, and these holes. So I'm gonna bore out some holes for the doorknob to go in, as well as the side for the, um, the bolt, and then I've got these inset rectangles. I'm gonna start with the inset rectangles because I'm already working on the door. Um, Actually, no, I'm gonna, yeah, I am. First, I need to extrude this door out, and I look at the width, it's 1.75 inches. All right, great. Now, using this object, I'm now going to sketch on the front. And I'm gonna start with the panels. Now, looking at these dimensions, it is three inches in from the side, it's 12 inches wide, It's 22 inches tall. This is a two inch border, so it's offset two inches. So let's make life easy. Um, we have used a mirror tool in AutoCAD, so I'm going to use one here. First, I'm going to change to a front view so it's nice and flat. And now I'm going to draw to my heart's content. This is a midpoint. I'm going to just create one because we're going to use the mirror tool. Why make extra work? Now we are going to draw that rectangle. I click, it's got a it's shown me width, so I'm going to tell it the width of 12. And I press enter, and here I've got a height of 22. I press enter. Great. Now I'm going to use the offset tool. I'm going to select this, 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 and this. I don't have to hold anything, I just click them. And now I'm going to pull the arrow in to tell it which way to offset. Click the measurement and say two inches. We are not quite there. Next thing we need to do is use the dimension tool. So I'm gonna deselect the offset. I'm going to click and drag to the right, select the object and use the dimension tool to click the left edge to here. So I click here, then here, and drop it, and we end up with a three inch gap. I'm gonna do the same with the bottom. I'm gonna say from here to here, it, and I drop the measurement, six inches. If I don't select the shapes that I wanna use the dimension tool with, it's just going to move the thing that I click. You have to select your stuff. If you select, click and drag to the left, it's gonna select the door itself too. It's it just, be conscious of how you're clicking and selecting. There's there's a reason why they have two different types. Mirror command, right up here. I'm gonna select my mirror line, and then I'm going to click and drag to the right. Beautiful. We is almost there. All right, so now I'm going to... Is that good? Is that good? Now I can extrude my stuff. I'm gonna extrude this shape. Oh, it pre-selected my shapes for me. Great, now this is supposed to go into the door. So let's remove, and I don't know, let's do half an inch. I didn't, I didn't label this in the diagram. So I, I type in my number, I click in this area to see a preview, I like it. So I click okay, great. Um, I'll show you some fancy with that at the end of this video. But now I'm gonna do the holes for the door. So let me zoom to fit. All right, 
I select the front of the door, and now I'm going to draw a circle for the doorknob. I click somewhere because we can move it. I'm going to click again and change my diameter to 2.125, just like the thing says. Now I'm going to use my dimension tool. There it is, right there. Dimension tool. I'm going to say from the bottom of the door to the center of the circle, it should have a dimension of 34 inches. From the center of the circle to the side of the door, click. It should be, looks like three inches. Great. We are nearly there. Finish that sketch. We're going to make a new sketch. Ah, I misclicked. So I'm going to exit out of this. Good. New sketch. We're going to click the side of the door. And kind of similarly, let's see, change my view. I'm going to make a circle. I'm going to set the diameter to one inch. Now I need to go set the width. So from the front of the door to yeah, from the from the front to the midpoint is going to be half of 1.75. So it's going to be point point. It's going to be so the way I mentally do this 1.75. So half of an inch is half an inch. Easy, so I just put that away. And then half of 0.75 is, so that's three quarters, half of three quarters is three eighths. So 0.5 and three eighths is seven eighths. That's 0.875. It's good to be able to do mental math. Um, it goes a lot quicker in my head, but I'm trying to explain it so you can hear the path that the numbers take. Height is 34 inches on this. Great. Now we finish our sketch. Now we need to bore our holes. So I'm going to use the extrude tool. First I select this and I can go remove. You could do the other one too. Actually, it's easier if you pick the front one first. I'm going to show you what happens if you pick the other one and why it's not a good idea. So I click this, I'm going to go to remove. And here you can see there's the end point. And it's telling me to like drag it in. We don't want to drag because it's not precise and we can't be sure. But now I've got this like willy nilly kind of got to drag it and estimate when it's in the hole. Nobody likes that. Nobody wants to do that. So I don't recommend it. Let's do it the recommended way. So I click extrude here. I go to remove. And now I'm going to change it from blind to through all. That way I can see a hole. That's nice. Check. Done. Extrude. Side hole. Remove. And now I can say, let's see, up to next. Oh, look at that. Up to next. It does up to the next surface. It doesn't go here. That's really nice. If I go through all, it continues throughout the entire door. You can actually see through the door. You could do the measurement too, but I think, hey, up, up to next. Let's do that. Count it, call it, we're done. Now if you want to make this fancier, what you could do, get that fillet tool. I'm doing an eighth of an inch and I said fillet, but you could do chamfer. Um, maybe I'll do half an inch actually. This is fun. So I mean you really don't have to do this. But I just want to show you how easy it is to doll up your stuff. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. If you click the wrong thing, you can always just click it again. And then it'll unselect. Or deselect. Ah, now we're getting fancy. That's it. That's the door. Done.